So I'm currently at a stage now where um, I'm just um, looking at what I have and making decisions about how I'm going to progress. Um, I have all collage bits on the left here and I've just sort of put them in colours, um, colour categories and ones in all colour. Got oh my down there as well. And then um, I've got all my different painting tools and things here. I've got stuff. Modeling paste because I want to put some texture in here. I've got all sorts of things to add, but the first thing I want to do is just work on the llama itself and put some colours and textures into the llama and make it as cool as possible and as I suppose like um, as fantastical as possible. Um, and um, I am to see how we go from here really. on the camera or not but I will just tell you a little story um, I, I I love alpacas I love llamas maybe more alpacas than llamas because it's probably easier and smaller to handle um, but once I organized a weekend away <laughs> for me and my husband and it was totally around the need for going alpaca trekking and we simply went to Chichester because that was where I would find a place reasonably priced that done alpaca trekking. And that was um, my sole reason for going to Chichester. I started the journey by going alpaca trekking. Um, the woman who owned the alpacas was telling us how friendly they were and how much she'd handled one when it was um, very younger and how sometimes it would come following her to the house <laughs> and she had to <laughs> turn it around and take it back out. But that's how tame it was. It wanted to go everywhere with her. gonna decorate my alpaca with different flowers and then on top of that I'll be laying different layers of paint and texture around it. Hopefully it will work up well. You never know for sure. But hey that's about experimenting and uh, when you're doing mixed media and you're making a collage of things together, I think that's the time to have some fun and experiment and not just be, well, a llama is supposed to be this colour or that colour. And actually, whenever you've seen alpaca, of course, they do have lots of different colours within their wool. It's not just one colour. So even if they look white when you get closer you'll see grey and other bits in there. I have to say my husband still got a photo of our of um, this one alpaca that really liked him. <laughs> and we went into the barn and um he was trying to get a selfie and every time he tried to get a selfie with this alpaca behind him another one would come up and was like photo bombing and getting right in the way of the camera it was really funny such an enjoyable experience and uh, what better way to go up in the countryside and do some exploring but with an alpaca on a lead ring see look I've already got some textures up here because of the paper behind so I can use that to my advantage. There's no point really putting these on there. I'll keep it as low as I can.
So as you can see, since my last video, I've made a little bit of progress. Um, I've done some embellishments on the llama itself. And we've got some added textures going on. I'll just try and zoom in for you to see. So... see the flowers and I've just put some yellow on there in the bottom far corner um, I've just put some texture on there and then I can go over and put a color on that later on so I'm gonna carry on with adding some color and some more texture to the llama itself I think but I'm gonna have to be careful not to smudge um, the other textures that are still wet and the yellow textures are um, done with modeling paste as well so they do take longer to dry so let's go so unfortunately last time I filmed um, my um, storage run out and I didn't get what I thought I got so I'm just going to talk you through what I've done and then I made um, a little tool made out of just some cardboard and then I put on the piece of cardboard on the floor you can see there equal parts um, some pink 
um, sort of a red blue and then a pale pink which were these and I think this is a iridescent red blue yeah so with my tool I was basically doing some stripes and then like overlapping them smaller like tiles and trying to make it light as I went across and then with a little bit of paint I had left on there um, I went up the neck trying to make it light as I went I don't like this area of the neck so I'm gonna go over it with a dry brush now with some white yeah I've put some pink so red blue on the eyelashes and I'm gonna put some white over there as well with um, one of my mascara brushes and um, I think I added some a few of the papers maybe on the bottom you can see and I'm gonna add some more papers on that today I've added an extra one I think you can see it on the top and I'll get some more color on that because I just don't want something to be black and white on there 